Ryan Reynolds has always been a fun-loving, good-looking guy. But if you compare his early days in Hollywood to his more recent outing as everyone's favorite foul-mouthed superhero, you might notice that he hasn't always had the beefed-up physique that looks so good in red spandex. How did this former child actor turn his body from lean to mean? Be warned, there aren't any tricks, just time, energy, and dedication. It all began with Blade. Reynolds' big comic book movie breakthrough came over a decade ago when he played vampire hunter Hannibal King in the 2004 film Blade Trinity. The trainer before we started the film wanted to pack on about 10 pounds on me and muscle up. In the three months before filming began, Reynolds was whipped into good enough shape to occupy space in a superhero flick, if not headline one himself. The secret? Long workouts, heavy weights, and zero cardio. Because believe it or not, before he packed on the muscle to play this role, Ryan Reynolds was kind of a noodle. Every day is a gym day. Want to be a superhero? Prepare not to slack off, ever. Maximum effort. Some of the routines Reynolds has to follow border on the sadistic. For instance, when he first had to bulk up for Green Lantern, the actor worked out seven days a week, 90 minutes a day, and never did the same workout twice, for six straight months. Even his rest days just involved a less intense type of exercise like Pilates. But don't worry, for those of us who aren't putting our abs on display for an audience of millions, 20 minutes of moderate exercise daily and three gym sessions per week will be more than adequate to keep you fit. He eats all of the food. When it comes to playing Deadpool, the first time Reynolds suited up wasn't in his own standalone film. It was in 2009's X-Men Origins Wolverine, a regrettable outing that would eventually become the butt of Deadpool's best marketing jokes. But the movie, that was a career low for me. You understand. But back then, the actor wasn't going to pass up on the chance to bring Wade Wilson to life on screen, and he had to bulk up fast, which meant consuming enormous amounts of food. Reynolds said that he had to eat live children in order to put on so much muscle in so little time. But he was kidding, of course. Probably. He focuses on nutrition. The theme of any good superhero diet? Protein, protein, and protein. And if you're Ryan Reynolds, plenty of carbs too. The actor says, I really don't believe in that no-carb stuff. It's probably not good for you, and makes you pretty cranky. No amount of exercise will make up for poor nutrition. Eating the right foods in the right amounts and at the right times, if you're being really intense about it, is key to building a physique like this one. That said, even superheroes get the occasional cheat day to indulge in some not-so-healthy foods like... It's a chimichanga. But actually, Reynolds prefers to gorge on pizza pizza when he doesn't have to look ripped on screen. He keeps it tight. Ryan Reynolds might shed some muscle or change up his workout between superhero flicks, but he's basically been in battle-ready shape for the past 15 years, which makes it easy to ramp things back up when he needs to slide into a spandex suit. According to his longtime trainer Bobby Strom, for action films he was 200 pounds and 8% body fat. For rom-coms, he's about 180 and 11% body fat. But even then, Reynolds is a gym regular, says Strom. When he does a comedy, he probably goes to the gym to do cable work every other day. He sets challenging goals. Reynolds has said that getting in shape for movie roles left him astonished at what could be achieved with a solid workout regimen, and now he keeps himself motivated by giving himself new goals to strive for. Of course, for someone as fit as Reynolds, those goals have to be pretty intense. Among the items already crossed off his bucket list is running the New York City Marathon in under four hours. Next up, he wants to climb Machu Picchu. He has fun with it. Ultimately, Ryan Reynolds approaches fitness the same way he approaches, well, everything, by not taking himself too seriously. Sometimes that means finding motivation in unusual places, like a friendly rivalry with his Deadpool 2 co-star Josh Brolin, who got even more muscled up than Reynolds to play the character Cable. But the actor also knows his limits, and isn't afraid to point out when another superhero star has surpassed him in physical achievement. When asked how his own regimen stacked up against Hugh Jackman's, who would wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning in order to eat enough to fuel his Wolverine workouts, Reynolds said, Hugh Jackman has a dedication to his craft that I'm afraid I don't share. If I'm up at 2 in the morning, it's because something has gone terribly wrong. That laid-back attitude keeps the actor sane, and it doesn't hurt that it's totally in character. Superhero landing! Yeah, that's really hard on your knees. Totally impractical, they all do it. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.